Hey tribe, Donna here from Transformational Healing and today I wanted to talk to you about magical and spiritual tools and which ones or which one I think is the most important. So if you've been around this channel for a little while, I'm not going to be able to trick you with my title because you already know which tool I believe is the most important. You can use all of the different tools that I offer in the shop, um, the different things that you can get at metaphysical shops, the different things you can find in nature, the things that you can create, like creating your own spiritual wands and different spells and different things that you can do. But it doesn't always matter which tools you choose to use. We are all walking a different path. And as we walk our own path, we find tools or reminders that help us to focus our intention. And that is what tools truly are. So yes, there are crystals that have innate abilities to work on certain issues. Or there are different herbs that, of course, physically in teas and things like that, help with certain health issues. But those herbs might also have metaphysical meanings to them. Essential oils work with emotions and, and your mental health. But those things are triggers. They are triggers to help your brain to go to that place. The herbs have that energy that's drawn to them. St. John's wort blossoming in the summer helps with depression and can also help with protection and being that sunshine and that ray of light in your room in the middle of winter, not a metaphysical or a spiritual level. But it's not the St. John's wort itself that is that ray of light. It's a trigger. You seeing that St. John's wort brings that thought of midsummer and sunshine back to the forefront of your mind, which releases endorphins and creates that energy within you. You are the most important tool. Your intentions, your energy, and all these other things that we use as wonderful and beautiful tools in our practice, whether that's a healing practice or a spiritual practice, it doesn't matter. The tools that we use on a daily basis are reminders or ways to focus our intention, to focus our energy upon a project. So which tools are the most important to you? Do you like to work with herbs and essential oils and spiritual products like you can find in the shop? Or are you drawn to crystals and things like that? I would love to know what tools help you the best. What tools do you use to focus your intention? That's what I want to talk about today. Intention is very important. And getting the right thing that clicks for you on your journey and your path can be a difficult task. There are no right tools that are perfect for every person, but I'm sure that there are going to be tools and helpers along your path that you will be drawn to because they fit your spiritual and mental and emotional belief system. So as you find those tools, Make note of them. Maybe you work really, really well with things like black salt, or you like to use Palo Santo to help you spread that intention to clear your space. Or maybe you do like to use sage. It just depends on what is right for you and what is right for your path. And that's why sometimes when people say, well, hey, I bought this thing from my website, you know, say they bought black salt and they say, how do I use this? 
Well, it's a little difficult to just answer, how do I use this? Because I don't know why they bought it to begin with. I don't know what their intention is. And once you know what someone's intention is, then you still can only suggest multiple ways that that can be done. And that is why I try to make these videos so that I can send people to the videos to realize all the different ways that things can be used and how different tools can be used on paths in different ways. Or perhaps there is maybe a hundred ways to cleanse and clear a space, but I'll cover as many as I think are common. I hope that that helps you to understand why I truly believe that you really, really are your most important tool. Without your intention, without your energy, those tools do nothing. A crystal may be emitting that energy, but it's not going to be affecting you or helping you unless you're using it as a tool. If it's just sitting somewhere and you're not using it as a tool with your intention to use it as a tool, it's not going to help you. So the same thing happens when you project outside yourself and you think that other people are doing things to you. Remember that outside influences, yes, they can have some effect and there are different levels of things that can have more effects than that. But honestly, I would say 90% of the time that somebody tells me that they believe that they've been cursed or that someone did something to them, it's simply the fact that they're having things that they can't deal with inside of themselves, things that they can't face inside of themselves, and they're having problems because they haven't found the right tools to help them to focus on their inner work that they're projecting outward and blaming it on other people because it can't be something that they did. Or they're just in fear because someone told them something and then they believed it. And remember, your belief about something really does make it come true. If you walk around believing that the world is a horrible place and that everyone is out to get you, then you're going to live in that fear space and you're going to create a space in which everyone is out to get you because you're acting weird, because you're acting that way. And if you walk around sending love and compassion and healing out into the world, that doesn't mean that you won't have any trials or tribulations. It doesn't mean that you won't have any faltering footsteps along that path, but you're going to be looking at things in a different way. You're going to learn from those stumbles and you're going to turn them into steps, into stepping stones so that you can keep moving ahead and keep spreading that love and that compassion out into the world. It's all a matter of perspective. So that really is why you are your most important tool. What's your perspective? What tools do you decide to use to help you keep that perspective? What things do you use to guide you or to help you along your path? It's all your choice and it's all up to you. Many blessings tribe and I'll see you real soon.